I will now illustrate a different way to debug a data-driven test case before I've shown you how to debug a single action using debug action with temporary data. And here we have a data-driven test case using parameter first name, last name, email and password. And as you know, we can play back this test and we can also go into uh, the test setting tab and just update the parameter. Let's say I want to say Mats, uh, um, Mats Banana right now, doesn't matter. So now I'm Mats Banana, right? But maybe this is your default parameter setting. Maybe you don't want to change this. Maybe you want to kind of take a snapshot in time and see if you can play this with a different set of data. The way you do this is that you click on console and then you go into uh, this other place here where you will see the, the, the test data and you can set this temporarily and just play this with the temporary data set. So let's try this for a change. Let's update my last name to maybe not banana to Johnson here, okay? So now it's Matt Johnson at uh, the email would be Mats at busang.com, okay? And now, if we want to kind of feed this new data into the test case, we use this little uh, blue play button, execute test case with current debug data. And if you do this, uh, it will use the Mats Jonsson uh, <laughs> other, uh, the temporary data that we set, which can be useful to be able to play with the test set of data or, you know, uh, simulate a certain data scenario. But as you saw now, it was very, very quick. So let's, uh, you, of course, we could remove the submit that would clear the form. But just to illustrate, I'm just going to add a breakpoint at sa save to DB and play it again. Okay, so again, I go to console and I play this. And the good thing now is that it will stop at the breakpoint and allow me to inspect the data and then continue using the play button.